Hello everyone! Welcome to Hair Kids! Today we are going to do an awesome science experiment with oranges. Are you ready to see how? Let's get started! To begin experiment, you are going to need two oranges, one empty glass, and water in the water jar. If you have the same glass as the one you have prepared, you can prepare one more. First of all, we need to fill the glass with the water. Now, we are going to take an orange and we are going to slowly and carefully put it in the glass. What happens to the orange? Does it float or does it sink? As you can see, the orange floats. For the second orange, we are going to remove the peel. Once the peel is removed, we are going to put the orange into the glass. What happens to the orange? Does it float or does it sink? As you can see, the orange sinks. An orange with the peel is heavier than orange without the peel. But why does the orange with the peel the heavier one float and orange without the peel the lighter one sink? Just pause the video and share your answer with your families or friends. The orange with the peel floats because the peel is porous and filled with tiny air pockets. These pockets of air help increase the buoyancy of the orange. This increase in buoyancy helps the orange become less dense than the water. Likewise, unpeeled orange floats in the water. Density means the amount of mass something has related to its volume or size. For example, if you look at this bucket full of sand, we would say it is more dense than this identical empty bucket because the bucket of the sand has more stuff, it's got more mass. Think of pockets of air in the orange peel are like tiny flotation devices for the orange. On the other hand, when you remove the peel from the orange, you are in fact making it lighter. But you are also removing those tiny air pocket flotation devices. Therefore, the orange without the peel is more dense than water and it sinks. If you think of these bowls as peeled oranges, all the bowls sink as soon as they are put in the water because of their high density. But when you wrap the bowls in a bubble wrap, they float in the water, that is, the peel of an orange acts like a bubble wrap. You can see the same principle when you float water bottles with air in them. If you put two bottles in the water, you can see that only the part of the air that the water bottles have floats on the water. You can try this experiment with another fruit as well. Did you have fun with these activities? Yay! I'm so excited! <laughs> okay then, I'm gonna be back with another fun activities. Till then, stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye. <laughs>